Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overlay an image on a video using Filmora 10. So I'm going to show you how to overlay a logo and some image and also I'll show you how to use the animation keyframe to make it more interesting in this software. Alright, so let's go to my computer screen. Alright, so now I'm inside Filmora 10 and we have an example timeline here. Uh, so I have some music and also my voiceover so I can delete them because we don't want to use them in this video and we have a video track here so I'm going to keep the video track so first thing we want to overlay a logo to our video okay so this is how the logo look without the video and also some text and other okay So it is very simple, right? Uh, because I don't want to show my channel logo. So that's the, the reason why I use Fimura 9 logo here. All right, so the first thing, uh, I, I will show you how to overlay the logo on a video. So we are going to uh, delete uh, this logo first, uh, but let's uh, turn off the auto repo. So we are going to select the logo and then we can delete it and then go back to my media. Uh, here I already imported some logo and some image here to use. Okay, so this is the horizontal logo for Filmora 9. We are going to drag and drop it uh, on the timeline. Just remember, you need to put it above the video track if you want to overlay the logo on your video. Okay, so now we can turn on the video. And let's play it first. So now we have a logo here, but I want to make it bigger. So the first thing, I want to add a keyframe uh, to this logo. Uh, let's move my playhead to the beginning of the logo and then uh, click here to add a keyframe. Okay, so then uh, we are going to scale it up to maximum. And uh, we are going to click here at the custom my area and then scale it up to 400% because it is the maximum number that uh, Pimura allow us to use. So uh, we will have uh, 400% for the logo uh, at the first position. And let's move the playhead to the next frame, maybe three frame or four frame or stuff like that. We want to add a keyframe first and then we adjust the speed of the animation by extend or shorten the, uh, the keyframe on the timeline. Okay, and let's scale it to 100%. So I think it is too big, so I'm going to reduce it, maybe 50%. 50 okay so uh, this look fine so let's play the logo first okay i think that it is very nice so the next thing i want to move the logo from here to the corner right and we are going to add another keyframe so we are going to click here to add another keyframe and also do the same we can move forward some frame and then we can select the logo here and scale it down a little bit then move it to this corner okay so this is a second second animation effect for the logo let's play it all right and the next thing if you want to overlay the logo throughout the video so along the timeline we're going to extend the, uh, the duration of the logo here so just click here at the right uh, right edge of the the image on the timeline okay so it's just here and then you can drag it all the way to the end of the video okay so by doing this we have a logo here at the corner all the time so that is the first uh, the first solution to overlay a logo on a video in Filmora 10 it is easy right and the next thing we want to have an image overlay an image here you want to show an image and then scale it down you know, to to one side of your video and also um, have some motion in the image also so this is the example we're going to hide the logo and now we're going to turn on this one uh, with the image so let us play it first okay so for this image uh, we will have preset motion and some customized animation keyframe so i'm going to delete this one 
okay so we are going to add an image to this part on the timeline so let's go back to my media so this is the the image of my wife uh, taken by my Canon 800D okay so I'm going to drag and drop it down here so at this position but the very first thing I can see that the size of the image uh, does not fit the screen so I want to crop to fit okay so I'm going to right click at the image and then go to the video and then select crop to fit so we have a full, a full screen image like this and the next thing we want to add a motion to this uh, image so we are going to double click at the image here and then uh, go to the preset here so we have customize and preset and here we have some preset motion that we can use for our video uh, on top here we have some preset motion uh, we have some animation keyframe and here we have the preset motion legacy which is uh, the same in Femora, 10, uh, Femora 9 because we have Femora 10 with some animation keyframe and some more effect but we still have the motion in Femora 9 okay so we can select one motion here I'm going to select one interesting so this one okay so we are going to select this one the photo spin number four so we are going to double click uh, at the motion here to select it and play it very nice right so at this position when the motion stop I want to scale the image down so we are going to add a keyframe here so we we want to select it uh, select it on the timeline and then we're going to click this button to add keyframing okay so add a keyframe in Femora 10 we can use both the motion and the keyframe keyframing function uh, in the same in the same image or video okay so this is the first keyframe and we are going to move the playhead about five frame forward and then we're going to scale it down to this side okay and click it on the timeline and move it to this area go okay and let's play it first scale it okay so the uh, the scale down is too fast so we are going to make it a little bit slower by standing uh, the keyframe uh, distance here so let's see very nice but I can see at the end the, uh, the motion uh, the exit motion uh, happened too fast so what I'm going to do is to extend the duration of the image so that the exit motion uh, will happen slower so we are going to click at the image here and extend it to this position that is one disadvantage of using motion in Filmora 9 because uh, in order to slow down the motion we have to extend the duration of the the image or the video uh, not like in Filmora 10 we can adjust only the animation keyframe we don't need to uh, to extend the duration of the video or image okay so let's play it again very nice right but here at the uh, at the exit motion I want to add a uh, to add a fade out, uh, um, fade out effect for the image also so I'm going to add another keyframe here so just uh, select the image here and then add a keyframe and we can just uh, move some frame forward at this position and now we can reduce the opacity to zero and it is a final result for this image very nice right and let's go to the next image we have uh, some simple animation uh, preset in Filmora 10 so again uh, we use this, this image so you have a slide uh, sliding animation effect from the left to the right and then pause for some second and then um, move the slide to the right okay so this uh, this animation effect is very simple to create for example we can clear the keyframe here let's delete all keyframe here for this image in order to create this simple sliding effect for the image it is very easy uh, all you need to do is to double click at the image here and then uh, go to the animation tab here 
And then, uh, instead of using the motion in Femora 9, we want to use the motion preset in Femora 10. So it is uh, on top here. We can scroll down. So we have some preset here. Uh, the one that you want to use is sliding from the left and pause and then slide, sliding to the right. Uh, I use this one. So just uh, double click at this one. You will have some keyframe uh, on your image. Uh, let's play it first. Let's play it. Very nice, right? If you want, uh, want the image to stay longer on the screen, you can adjust the animation keyframe here. For example, this one, you can just drag it to here and have a pause here. Okay, so it will stay on the screen longer. Let's play it. That is for the second image. Uh, it is very easy. Just overlay the image uh, on top of your video and select a, a motion preset here in Filmora 10. And talking about this, if you want to purchase Filmora 10 uh, with my 20% discount coupon code, you can check out the link I put in the description. Uh, it will save you 16 US dollars or stuff like that. All right, so that is how you can overlay an image on a video in Filmora 10 and how to add, add some keyframe and how to add a motion effect to your image to make it, make it more interesting. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. I'm sorry. Bye bye. One, two, three. All right, so here I am inside Femora 10. You know, this is the latest version of Femora. Now I put... No. All right, so now I'm inside Femora 10. And I'm current... All right, so this is...